Hi guys and welcome to another episode of TTS, a show where we take interesting and abnormal concepts and try to apply them to the ladder this week. Let me show you the deck list. I am really, really excited to try this. As you can see, this is a beast hunter and uh, basically you can't fit uh, more than 30 cards in a deck. You kind of know that if you've been playing Hearthstone for quite some time. And I tried to fit in a lot of things. Like for example, Bestial Wrath, I'm kind of, I was kind of iffy, so I decided to go with one of them. Stable Master, also kind of iffy. Uh, decided to go with one of them. The rest is kind of standard uh, mid-rangey hunter. You'll see a cold pet here. The traps, I decided to go with double freezing and a bear. I put two mad scientists, although I was questioning it, but I decided to go with scientist. I decided uh, to do that because uh, basically the other alternative is to put in a uh, cult master for some draw because we literally have no draw in the deck. But I feel like this will act as a mid-range hunter without any draw and will potentially win us some games. Now, before we go any further, I do want to mention one thing and uh, that thing is that I'm really, really, really not experienced with playing mid-range hunter. So, uh, if, they, if misplays do happen, and I intend to try to avoid them as much as possible, but if misplays do occur, I do want to apologize for them uh, in advance because um, yeah, I'm just uh, I'm just going to be trying my best. We are going to be trying our best together to kind of explore the idea of uh, of this hunter deck, and perhaps if something does need changing, we will go ahead and change it. I'm gonna go ahead and drop these two. Maybe get a one drop. Maybe get a two drop. Well, who knows? Uh, I decided to keep quick shot because it's very useful to deal with. Uh, mad scientists and uh, no mad scientists. What am I talking about? Knife jugglers. That is the card that I want to deal with. Uh, and the other one is um, gang boss. When it comes down, I also will probably need it. Okay, so we get the Savannah Hymen off the King Zelek. That's awesome. It uh, provides me with a lot of value, and it kind of gives him gives him an edge because now he knows he knows that I'm running it. Good thing that I kept quick shot. By the way, uh, I'm I'm finding it useful at the moment. What I'm hoping for now is that he does not have a um, coil, mortal coil. All oh, right, flame him does come down. Let's uh, let's trade a little bit. I mean, we we are not smork hunter by any chance. Uh, so let's do a little bit of a trading because I am afraid of implosion happening and implosion. It's, uh, it's just a card that you don't want to see, ever. Like, you don't want to ever see that card. Stable Master, sounds good. Uh, let's see what we can draw off the Kings, Alec. <clears throat> what is this? Gazrilla! Give me the Gazrilla! Oh man, we have all of the all of the amazing cards right off the bat here. I do want to trap so that his brand gets frozen. And we get an extra charge on our weapon. Uh, I mean... Okay, goodbye, Bran. Thanks for thanks for joining the board for like two seconds. Implosion. All right, that kind of sucks. We get Ram Wrangler. Obviously, it would have been better if uh, something survived, but uh, it's okay. I assume. Next turn, I'm going to be playing Savannah Hyman into Gazrilla into something else. So there isn't really much room uh, to play cards here. I'm gonna just drop a Ram Wrangler for no reason other than to kind of uh, to kind of just let it sit there. And I'm gonna keep my weapon as well, because against the Warlock, your weapon will come in handy to trade with those Argus targets, and uh, it's just, uh, I don't really want to swing to the face. Like, like here, for example. It's uh, pretty good. Pretty good. He does trade, which sets me up really nicely with the... Uh, with a trade here and a Savannah Hymen, but he must know, he must know that I'm dropping a Savannah Hymen, because he knows I drew it. He also knows that I'm going to be dropping a Gazrilla next turn. Why wouldn't he silence Gazrilla? I don't know. I honestly have no clue why that happened, but it's okay. Uh, I'm going to just Gazrilla and just go face a little bit. Just a little bit, and I'm not gonna attack uh, attack with my weapon just yet. Maybe he'll argue something. We have unleashed the hounds, so that's something good for me. Oh man, ten attack, Brand Bronzebeard. That's fourteen damage on the board for him. 
He's gonna go face, huh? Uh, did we calculate how much damage we actually have? What is this? Farwhelming? That's not lethal, right? Okay, that was fairly interesting. All right, so we have uh, we have nine, fifteen, uh, plus skill command. I guess that's lethal. Let's just uh, I guess unleash and uh, kill command and just kill him. Uh, very easy game. Did not require much much skill. I don't know why he did not trade in that game. I guess he realized that he's gonna lose. So. Uh, no trading from him uh, involved in this game, but that's fine. We are gonna proceed here. So far looking not so bad. We did not uh, lack anything, no draw, nothing. Even though he did start with a lot of annoying one and two drops. Uh, no death rattles, but still kind of annoying. I'm talking about Voidwalker, I'm talking about uh, Flame Imp. Those cards were dropped pr fairly early and we dealt with them pretty efficiently as well. Uh, despite not having like the best mulligan ever. Alright, well, versus Uther. Versus an Uther, we do want to keep... Um, we do want to get Unleash the Hounds. That is like the key card against this matchup. Obviously, I want the Zoo Drop, but I also want Unleash the Hounds. Because Unleash the Hounds will be like the best. Did we really just Mulligan Freezing Trap Eagle Horn Bow into Freezing Trap Eagle Horn Bow? That is very, <laughs> very interesting. I've never had that happen before. I love the fact that he just mulliganed his entire hand too. Um, it's okay. We have a web spinner. It will take off the divine shield of uh, of a shielded mini bot. That is the best that I can hope that it does. The worst, I guess, it trades for a hero power. Uh, but that's okay. That is fine. Gazrilla, that is nothing. The thing is, next turn I'm gonna be playing Eagle Horn Bow, so I'll have a charge. Go on it, regardless. Because look, it's not like he's gonna play a Murloc Charger this turn and go face, right? Or go anywhere. Like, I really doubt that he plays a Murloc Charger this turn. It's unlikely. What is this? Muster? Yeah, Muster is annoying. Muster is the card why we needed Unleash for. What we need is Unleash for. It's okay though. We're gonna just equip Eagle Horn Bow and uh, sit pretty. For now, don't really want to trade for the one ones. It's not really my style, right now. Uh, yeah, we do want that unleashed talents because we we really, really, really need uh, need something good here. The problem that I see here is that we basically froze nothing, and that's obviously not the best. But I'm not gonna not gonna make it's not not gonna be <clears throat> that salty over it. Apologies for uh, the voice cracking a little bit there. Alright, let's play Jungle Panther, because next turn we can go with the Ram Wrangler. I will take a poke at that, so that we can finish it off next turn, unless King comes down, of course. And uh, I don't expect him to Consecrate this, but even if he does... No, actually, if Consecration comes down, this is gonna be a pretty, pretty sad day for Russian to live. Yeah, as I said, sometimes it's not gonna be the best, uh, I'm not going to be playing to my best ability. For example, for you might say that <clears throat> freezing that 1-1 was a bad play, but um, I did not know that he's going to play Master. And obviously, I, sh I should have predicted it, to be honest. Like, that's not... Um, that's, that's, I'm not making that an argument at all. But the thing is, the thing is, right, that uh, I wanted to get that extra charge on the weapon. Because that's, that's uh, removal. And uh, removal is very very highly rated in this this sort of setting simply because hunters don't have any board clears um, let's just ram see what we get out of ram are you really seriously kidding me right now that is a joke that is a very unfunny joke. <laughs> we get one of the worst beasts. This is literally the worst beast. There's no beast worse than this. That I can think of. A web Spinner gives you a death rattle. Better. Strictly better than this. 
And this just makes me, this just breaks my heart. We get King Zelek, which is not the very good drop. Lesser Animal Companion. We don't get what I need. Shit. Okay. <sighs> Gonna have to play into Consecration, I guess. The thing is, we're, we're pretty screwed this game. We did nothing. We absolutely did nothing this game, and uh, he clears my board with his Master for Battle dudes from turn 3. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess this is it. This is it for the Russian. Wow. I'm not even gonna go further with this. This is just bullshit. Um, I would say fairly unlucky there. Fairly unlucky. But, uh, you know, matchups against Paladins never seem fair at all. Because of uh, just their cars are much better than your cars. <laughs> It's just how it is, unfortunately, at the moment. Um, obviously, it's great that the new Wild and Standard format are gonna hit uh, the servers mm, fairly soon. I would say probably next month or something like that. And um, when they do, when they do, it's gonna be a good ladder. It's gonna be a good ladder to be playing in. I'll keep Unleash the Hounds against the Shaman. And uh, one thing that I have to say that I perhaps have to avoid it. Um, we should be more aggressive with this deck. We should be more, uh, like, on point with aggression. Because the more aggressive you are, the better your chances to actually win, right? I guess that's how mid-range Hunter works a little bit. Fargo Destroyer. By the way, we never saw Mad Scientist either. That's pretty sad. Uh, if he has some sort of removal here, we're screwed a little bit. But that's okay. Uh, no removal. I like that. Please don't give him a 1 1 totem. That's also very good. Alright, well, let's do the same thing that we did last game. Because it kind of. It, it worked. It worked for me. It worked. Like, I got the charge of the weapon. But. But. It's. Uh, it didn't work out against the Paladin mainly because of the annoying uh, annoying things that Paladin have, like one ones that constantly attack your face. That he can instantly freeze and just uh, just be done with it. Well if you're gonna get fucking taunt totems like all day long, it's uh, good in my book I guess. I'll play Stable Master. <sighs> At least put a minion down on the board, I can't uh, can't keep attacking with my weapon now because I need to freeze it basically. We might be playing against uh, against the Maligos Shaman actually. Um, quite possibly playing against the Maligos Shaman. Tell you what, we can be a little bit more aggressive I guess at this point. The spell power totem doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Because um, uh, lightning storm kills everything anyway. Lightning storm kills everything anyway. Totem golem, okay. Savannah hiding. Tell you what. He's going to freeze his thing anyway. I'm just hoping for no Hex at this point. Because the Hex would be like the worst thing. Yeah. I'm pretty happy that he freezes his 3-4 though. Goodbye 3-4. Um, yeah, I am not really sure. Okay, hello Ram Wrangler. Ram Ram Ram. No, let's, let's just play Gazrilla. <laughs> Because really is a fine drop. He needs another hex in this in this case. Basically. <clears throat> but we do have a lot of burst. I can't uh, can't deny that. We have nine mana, how however much with unleashed hounds plus uh, 
plus eight there. Oh man. That's four. I mean that's five, sorry. Four left. Can you kill it? Can you kill it? No taunt. All right, well, this is GG already. Wow. Very interesting. Uh, so how much damage do we have? We have uh, four. Yeah, we, we have lethal, right? Bam! Why did he do that? I don't know. I have no clue. But he just gave me the win, basically. Alright, well, interesting stuff. So far, so good. I'm feeling good about this uh, about this deck. I can't lie. While I take a sip of uh, my delicious chocolate milk. And by the way, if you're ever in the United Kingdom, buy Fridge. Uh, fridge, uh, F-R-I-J-J. It's in my opinion like the best the best chocolate milk drink I've ever had. Like I've never tasted anything like this before. Anyway, free advertisements are over. <laughs> Let's uh, drop freezing in Savannah and uh, see what we can get. Actually, this hand I actually really really like. We have a 1 2 into 3. We have a potential spell removal with quick shot. He's just looking pretty at this point. I'm looking pretty. Void Walker. All right, let's uh, let's just coin out King Zelek like we did previously. Savannah, I mean, again, is this déjà vu or what? This is déjà vu. Let's hope he has no coil to clear the three-one again. Okay, that's not a coil, but it's not something that I can uh, kill either with. Uh, with quick shots. Anyway, at this point, he's gonna probably trade the one, one the one, two into the three, three, one, unless he wants to go for the value trade. Ooh, that's not good. Please don't. Please go face. Well, never lucky. Two mana beast, one mana beast. Okay. <clears throat> uh, let's just kill it, because that has to die. No doubt. We'll keep Timberwolf for our unleash combo. Or if we need some damage from, I don't know, King Crush needs to be 9 damage or something. Um, okay. Let's see what we top deck. King Zelek number 2. I guess we'll just uh, Animal Companion. Just don't give me a Huffer. It's not a Huffer. It's not bad. It's not good either, you know. We still need to unleash the Hounds. Because he's gonna implode this, most likely. No implosion, that's good though. That's good. He really trades, huh? No, I don't mind that he trades. Him trading is actually pretty good. Hmm. I'm not liking this situation. I'm gonna have to Timberwolf and uh, Hound, uh, Hound Master it. Because um, this, this puts so much uh, stats on the board that I like the situation. Because next turn I'm playing Savannah Hymen, and if he uses a removal now, then that's good for me, isn't it? Get in there and fight faggot. Alright, well, at this point, you know what I'm playing. You know where I'm going. I'm going face playing Savannah Hymen, because it's not 100% that the Ogre will hit the 4-3, for example. And he still needs to deal with the Savannah Highway, unless he has Siphon Soul, in which case, we cry. Siphon Soul would be kinda bad. What is that, Malganis now? Not a Malganis, that's good. <clears throat> Oh my god, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 
16 damage in burst. Let's just ram, see what we can get out of ram. No way. Well, I guess might as well King Zelek instead. Go face. Oh god, so much card draw. Ram Wrangler has not been very successful in uh, in the recent in the recent times. Uh, the Warlock has what, 10, 15, no, 14 damage in burst. Shit, can he actually kill me? No way. No way. Alright, well that was pretty lucky, I would say. That was really lucky. He had to have this attack, my face. He had to get two of the Doom Guards in his hand while having 17 cards more in the deck. That seems like just too, too much of a, of a lucky spree on his side. I could have played around it, but then I wouldn't be setting up lethal, which uh, I wanted to set up. Because you you don't generally count on someone being uh, on someone being that lucky, you know. We seem to be getting a lot of freezing traps on eagle horn bows and ram wranglers. I I want something different, man. I want call pet. I want bestial wrath. I want those cards, man. There's the bestial wrath. There's a there are need new cards, new cards, guys. I mean, I want them situationally, of course, but. Uh, it's just, yeah, I should not have dropped Bow, to be honest, against uh, Druid. That was a mistake. But we got Quickshot instead, which deals with Darnassus Aspirant anyway. Uh, in a good way, I mean. But the Bow is good because it deals with the uh, Darnassus Aspirant and it deals with uh, the Shredder as well. And those, like, if I deal with Darnassus, I can't deal with the Shredder. What is it? What is that little Ogre? There, there it is. There it is. That's fine. We're just gonna quick shot at this point. Not a big deal. He just coined wild growth. Well, he just coined nothing basically. He coined a two drop that I quick shot it, and battle cry doesn't make they, doesn't make a difference. We actually have the might scientist. That also is a very new card. Everybody buy an extramus now. New expansion is out. Um, yeah, I'm hoping that. He does not play anything small, <laughs> because I don't want to freeze anything small, I want to freeze something big. But we could get Bear Trap, we have not gotten a Bear Trap yet. That is also pretty, pretty scary. We got the Bear Trap! Hello! Okay, nice. Is he gonna poke it? Not gonna poke it. Do I want to actually use Bestial Wrath in this case? Or do I want to just freeze the 2-1? The one, the one? I have a slight suspicion that I don't really want to freeze that. Um, but then... this Yeah, that's fine. Let's just use it. Trade with that guy. Go face. Yeah, it kind of sucks, but I really don't want to use Freezing Trap. And I don't want to skip it either because I don't want him to kill it. I want him to either swipe it or wrath it. And uh, by all means do that. Wrath. You know, I got what I asked for. If we, if we can squeeze in a hero power every turn, that would uh, eventually be of benefit to me. Let's just play Stable Master. It's not like we're ever going to use him. Like, Stable Master is just a huffer without charge, basically. Um, that, you know, he's the her battle cry is so useless in most situations that you just fucking play. You don't sit and wait for her to be useful. Eaglehorn, bow. I wish I had something better, but... That's fine. Let's just push for some damage. I mean, if we start going face more, we might just win this way by like finishing him off with a kill command or something. But we should have set up a freezing trap in before. Another wrath. Okay. 
Okay. Double kill command now. I'm keeping double kill command to be honest. Seven mana. It's probably gonna be lore. Yeah. Let's uh, let's just freeze one of these guys. Probably he's gonna freeze the shredder, if I may guess so. Because he wants to deal more damage to me. But if we get a beast like a web spinner, we can just uh, ten damage right to the dome. All right, goodbye, Lothar. Hopefully he doesn't replay Lothar. And no Doctor Boom, please. Not Doctor Boom. Okay, what do I get? Get Animal Companion. Hmm. If I get Huffer, I might be pushing for damage. In this case. Not a Huffer. But tell you what, I'm still gonna freeze and go face like so. Like, in this situation, I really wanna push for face damage. Um, because I cannot do... I cannot win otherwise. There's just no way I'm winning otherwise. Swipe, okay. Please tell me he has no taunt. Because I have exact lethal. Right, I have 3 plus... Yeah, that's 11. Even even if not, then I can top deck a beast and have lethal that way. No, I can't, because that would be ten. No, that wouldn't even be yeah, that would be ten. It's five plus five. Easy math. <laughs> Easy math. Innervate, please don't be a taunt. That's good enough. Alright, well GG. King Crush for lethal. I really love how he enters. Bam! Alright guys, um, I hope that you enjoyed the first episode of uh, this week's TTS. Please click the link somewhere on the right hand side. Sorry, on the left hand side. It will take it directly to uh, part 2 where we'll continue our adventures with the Beast Hunter. Oh, You guys are awesome. Stay awesome. You take care now. I'll see you guys in the next one.